Hey everyone, this is Ellie May with Swift Creek Customs, and we had a question on the Creating with Caesar, Juliet, and Romeo Facebook group. I'll throw that link up down in the description below. But the question was, how do you cut a shape out of a graphic and get it to show up properly? So you're going to be printing an actual image, and then you want to cut a certain shape out around it, or you want to create your own cut line on top of that, or open an SVG file that you place on top of it. So I'm going to first come back here to my design tab, and I'm going to start over and set this up fresh. So I'm going to click on a new tab. I'm going to come up to File and Open, and then I'm just simply going to choose this um, image here. It's a PNG file, and I'm going to double click on it. I'll throw the link in the description below as well. In this case, I do not want it to trace around the outer edge of this PNG file, so I do not want to choose the Print and Cut option. I'm going to choose Background option, and then down here, I want to select 300 DPI so that it will open at the 300 DPI, which is your uh, quality for print quality. Now, if a designer has saved it at a lower DPI, it doesn't magically change that, even if you choose 300 DPI. The original image was the 72 DPI, so that's what it's going to open as, even if you choose 300 here. So I'm going to select Next, and then it's going to open larger than this usually indicates that it was saved at a 300 dpi when it opens large what you're going to notice here i'm going to shrink this down so it fits within my registration borders here for my print and cut you'll see extra space above and on the sides of this png because that's how the designer saved it that was the size that they saved it as so we have extra space your selection box has to be within your registration marks area or you're going to get an error the red means something's wrong so now that I have my selection box inside of my boundary, I'm going to come over here to my artboard panel. It is already designated as a print and cut because that's how I opened it. And I'm going to select my page marks. Then it's going to adjust my page marks to my setup, which is a letter size sheet of paper that I've defaulted to. So now I have my image. If I come up here to the send design and choose that, you're going to see that there is nothing that shows up on the screen. I haven't told the software what I want it to do yet. So in this case, the question was about opening an SVG, which is a cut file over top of an image, or I'm going to simply use draw a shape. So I'm going to create a circle and I want a circle cut out of this design. So I'm just going to draw a circle and then I'm going to close this artboard panel so we can see this color picker properties panel. Generally, your default is set to fill. In this case, I'm just going to choose stroke just so that you can see through it. So this is going to be what my image below gets cut from. Now I have to tell the software what I want it to do. So if I come over here to the layers panel, click on that. Under this little down arrow is where you designate what you want it to do. So next to my circle, you can currently see it says default print. It this is indicating that it is going to be a printed line, but I want it to be a cut line. So I'm going to click right here under that down arrow and it's going to give me the options to change it and tell it what I want it to do. You can see here it says default print. I want it to cut. So I'm going to choose cut. It also shows now what the action is below this um, object. And then when I come over here to the send design, I'm going to send as it is. I now have my printed artwork available and I have my cutting contours available to choose. So I would send my print to my printer first and then I would use my cutting contours to cut around that. Now I'm going to do the same steps with the SVG file. So I'm going to come back to the design tab. I'm going to open a new design and I'm going to follow the same steps. Open, double click, bring it in as a background image, next and then resize it, place it in the middle of my page. On my artboard, I'm going to select page marks. So it's going to adjust that, can close my artboard here. And then I'm going to come up here to file open and I'm going to open my SVG file. So I've simply created a circle SVG, just a simple shape to use as an example. I'm going to open this as a cut only and then choose next apply and now I have my circle I can adjust that size as needed and then 
Same thing over here on my layers panel, I need to designate what I want it to do. Currently, everything is set up as a print, default print. I'm going to click this little area here and choose cut. Shows cut at the bottom. And I'm going to click send design, send, and there's my cut contour. Now, I wanna share with you a third way that you can crop, essentially crop an image and you don't have to print the excess around the image design. So I'm gonna come back here to the design. And now I have my circle, which is told it's a cut line. I'm going to come up here to the color pick option and I want to choose the circle. So I place your circle where you want it to crop and I'm going to choose fill option. If I leave it on stroke, it does not work. So I'm going to make sure my circle is selected and then I'm going to choose the fill option and you're going to see that change to a blue color. I'm then going to left click and drag across both my image and my circle, select this little icon down here and come over here to the intersect tool. And then that is going to crop your image down to the shape that you have on your design. Now that we have the image cropped, we need to tell the software what we wanna do. So if I come over here to the layers panel, again, you're going to see there's no designation here. In this case, you do not wanna change the setting over here because it's a combined cut and print and cut file. So what we need to do on this particular image, now that we've cropped it, is we need to come down here to the bottom toolbar and we need to build contours. And this is going to tell it that we're gonna do a print and cut logo we're going to trace around the outer edge of this and the blue line shows exactly where I wanted to cut. So I'm simply going to choose apply and now you'll see a line around it and we have this kiss cut group. You can then designate if you need to what you want it to do. In this case, it would just be a die cut for me. So I'm simply going to leave it as is and I'm going to choose the send tab, click send and now you're going to see your printed artwork and your cutting contours in the area that you have chosen. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have questions in the description below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications for future content on the Swift Creek Customs channel. Thanks and have a great day.